All right. So uh, now let's go to the practical application. We're going to be referencing and utilizing the um, Metaphysical Bible Dictionary. I believe we have that as a downloadable, free downloadable also um, at www.lojsociety.org. O R G. So go there and you know download it and use it on whichever one of your mobile devices that you um, best can utilize it and, and study study along with us and also study in your private communion time um, as well as if you if you can find true brothers and, and sisters who who admit and declare this, this this same truth you can study study along with them as well. But we know a lot of us. You know, we were scattered in corners all over, so we don't have that gathering like we would like, but we have to understand that this is still for our good. You understand? As, uh, as death in, in Psalm 1, uh, 119 says, that it was good that we, we are afflicted. You understand? Because then we learn through that affliction, you understand, to have more obedience to his word and to his truth. So here we're going to begin off the sama awal mafis kedu sahad wa amla ka de tu ante berupne amen amen so here we're going to begin with jehol shafat let's begin with jehol shafat uh jo uh, Joe, or oh, Joshaphat, rather Joshaphat, because there's two forms of it, Joe, Sha, uh, Fat, right? And then we have Jehoshaphat, right? And both of these are two-part, two-part. We can almost call them, maybe they were like baptismal names, Hebraic baptismal names, right? Both of these are two parts, as we'll explain here, Jeho and Shafat. Now, Jeho Shafat, um, according to the Metaf Kedus of Negus and Neges, or the Book of the Seven Seals, the Royal and Heart Bible, this is the Seven Seals right there on the back side of the book, the Emperor's Bible, the Metaf Kedus. According to the Metaf Kedus, this is written as E Yo. Sha fit E O Shafit, right? Or as E Yo Sha Fit. Almost like E O Shaft. E O Shaft. Or you can add a little I there just just to enunciate it. You know, saying, but learn the fidels, and one can always practice and perfect the proper sounds and the variabilities of of sounds that are possible. You know, saying among different speakers. So then, this is the one, right? And this is the two. Now, eo we have in ancient Egypt as the iu, right? And then when we go to ancient Egypt, we have uh, chef, chef. Right, chef. Right, eo plus chef. Eo chef. Right, and the iu, the iu, eo, eo is a, a a short form of yah. It's actually one of the ways that yah, Yahweh, was said in ancient times. You know, saying as eo, as eo. Here, Bebrayist, according to the Masoretic, we have it as jeho. And then there's another version that's further contracted to Joe. Jeho, Joe. Jeho, Joe. So this is very important. Some dispute this. Yeah, I've heard some different um, ones and ones, you know, dispute about well, what is the proper um, pronunciation of the tetragrammaton, you understand, or the, 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 the four letters, the yo, the hey, the wow, and the hey. Some say vav and hey. And there's a lot of speculation about that, but we'll save that hopefully for another lesson. Now, why this is important, first of all, show team is the 48th uh, weekly Torah portion. I was the judges. Now, we've, we've touched on the basics of that as well as an overflow. Now we want to touch on a practical application of this particular name. 
first we'll touch on the, the one form that is the contracted form, Joe Shafat. Then we have the uncontracted form as Jeho Shafat, right? Jeho Shafat. Now, according to the Metaphysical um, Bible Dictionary, very, very important. You get your hard copy of it, or it, you could download perhaps a PDF at, at our um, um, pages, you understand, at WWWLOJ Society. Um, then you can study it for yourself and go and compare it with the Bible and do other homework, your Strong's Concordance, all of that. I, I pray that ones will, will, will gain a joy, you understand, a desire, a, a, a willingness to do it. Because if one has a willingness, it becomes so, so beautiful. You understand, if one is doing it like somebody is like, oh, I got to do it, then you're not going to get too much out of that. That's why being born again and the process of being born again you know, and that having that real experience, that spiritual connection you know, with the God and Father of our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is so very important. And we always keep every time we speak, we speak about that because ones we know that others may not have that particular desire, or some even testify that they didn't have it before. But give thanks and praise to the Almighty through this ministry or other ministries. They have developed that, and they are able to find so much for themselves. They're able to know the truth for themselves. And this is this this is this is what this life earth experience is really really about. Not all the vanity and the idolatries and all the foolishness and nonsense and hatreds and evil. It's not it's it's, it's, it's not about that at all. But even this too will pass. Now, Shaphat here, Joe Shaphat here, the first form, it means, or it's said to mean, whom Jehovah judges, whom, Jeho whom Jah, whom Jah sustains, Jah defends, Jah defends, whom, one whom Jehovah judges, or whom Jah sustains, or Jah defends. Now, the history of this first Joe Shaphat his history is that he was one of David's DVDs, mighty warriors, and a member of his guard, a member of David DVD's guard, according to First Chronicles eleven forty three. Now they said that the name, the first this name right here is 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 a form, you understand, is a form of Jehoshaphat. Now metaphysically speaking, it says here the meta the meta of it. A meta means above or beyond, you understand, so beyond the physical, you understand, above or beyond just the physical, and this is true Christian, not true Christianity, it is spiritual, you understand, it is spiritual. The significance is virtually the same as Jehoshaphat. The development, development, key word, development, in consciousness of the idea of judgment. It's a development in one's consciousness or labona or one's heart. This is where it says the heart often in the Bible is not just the organ in the body, but the heart is to say the mind or the or or psychological from a psychological um extrapolation, it would be the consciousness. So when we say consciousness, biblically it is heart. Is defined as heart. See, a lot of folks think that the ancient people they spoke in this way and they had no understanding. But no, it's we who don't understand that they, in their simplicity, they were able to express great complexity and clarity. You understand? And this is what needs to be gained so that one can rightly divide the word for themselves. So the development in consciousness of the idea of judgment and of the sustaining power the sustaining power of the I am. So this is important right here, that this name signifies, the short form of this teaching would be, that the name signifies, the name signifies the development in consciousness or in heart, to say in mind, in consciousness, of the idea, of the idea of judgment, of the idea of judgment. And of the sustaining, the sustaining power, the sustaining of a gizi her hail is how we would say it, Bamarinya in them hard, of the sustainer's power, of the I am, of the I am, and that's the Joe 
or Jehu or Ethiopically, that's the EO part, the EO part right here. So let's put this up here. Ja, you have Ja, right? And you have judgment. So we can just call this actually Ja judgment. This is Ja. You have Ja. Now, how it's interpreted, the Targum, the Targum is interesting, or the Targum, that's what we meditate on. You know, when, when you learn these things, you say, okay, basically the word is Ja, say the I am, and judgment. So you start to work the, you start to meditate, start to pray, you understand, start to study, start to write, you understand, reason with others if others are in that, in that discipleship, in that uh, brotherhood, that spiritual brotherhood and sisterhood and motherhood um, circle. So we have Ja and judgment. But the more expanded idea of this would be the development and consciousness of this idea this idea of judgment and the sustaining power of the I am. Now, this is another link that we have to make right here that Ja, basically, is the I am. Not the little I am or the personal ego, which has become diabolical in just about everybody who's born in this world, more or less. The ego is talking about the divine ego. You understand? We can actually put this right here. Put ego, but it's the divine ego. You understand? The divine ego. The divine ego is the I am, or as we know, the Ja. But it's from the idea of he who is, or he who lives and causes life. He who is who he is. That is Yahweh. Asher, um, Ahiyah, Ehiye shara, ehiye, ehiye shara, ehiye in the Hebrew is I am that I am. Ehiye, ehiya, ehiya, asher, ehiya. You understand? I am or I live and I cause to live or I cause life. I am living and I cause life. You understand? And this is the true meaning of Jah, of Jave, or Yahweh, or Yahweh, or Jehovah, and we have many different forms of it. But it's to understand, well, what does it mean? What is the true root? The true root for us is found in the Ethiopic, in the first language. In the Ethiopic, we find that the very, this very same, and the Hebrew is much like it too. If you read the Hebrew, you'll find that you have the root of, of, of Ah, He, Ah, Yeah, he or or he we he we ah he we yeah he we you have these these sounds the 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 h and the w but either modified by a to say first person causative or by the y to say in another kind of an infinitive sense like in Yahweh and ja or in ya and it's very beautiful because as you study the etymology from a discipleship state of mind, you begin to understand and recognize other things in life and in creation and things that have been hidden, you understand, become revealed. So you, this was always in our face, but we couldn't understand it, you understand, because we, we lack that knowledge, you understand, that knowledge of the Bain Ha Elohim, of the Son of God. So now that was a short version, actually, Joe Shafat is a short version. Next up is the long version. Now, the long version is the next, is, is, is the next one up, is the long version. And, and, and here, we, we, we just, let's get into it. Let's, let's just get into it right now. Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat now, they have this from the Hebrew, as whom Jehovah has judged, whom Yahweh has judged. The judgment of Yahweh, the judgment of Jehovah. Rulership of Jah, the rulership of Jah. The government of Jehovah, of Yahweh, whom Jah sets upright, whom Jah sets upright, you understand, upright. The rectitude, the rectitude of Jehovah, of Yahweh, the rectitude of, of Yahweh. Now, historically speaking, from the biblical history or examples and types, he was the son of Asa, son of Asa the fourth king of Judah, according to 1 Kings 15, 24. 2 Chronicles 17 and 1 to 2 Chronicles uh, 21 and 1. 
secondly, or the B, is that there are other Israelites, there are other um, of the Beta Israel by this Shem or Sim or name. Some of them quite prominent men. So there's, there's, there's a couple of different ones who are named Eyo Shaphat. You understand? Um, we have 2 Samuel 8 and 16, 1 Kings 4 and 17, 2 Kings 9 and 2. Now, Joel in Joel 3 and 2 and 12, it mentions something very interesting. In Joel, in Joel uh, chapter 3, 2 and 12. Let's put this right here. Joel chapter 2, right? It was chapter 2, chapter, actually 3, verse, verse, uh, verse uh, 2 and 12. Verse 2 and 12. Verse 2 and 12. So in Joel chapter 3, verses 2 and verses 12. It, there's a mention of of the valley of Yoshafit or Jehoshaphat. That is Jehovah judges. So in the margin of the older Bible has Jehovah judges. That God is the, the judge. Jah, Jah is judge. You understand? And He has given us what some have described as this love letter. I I, I say it is a love letter. It's it's a manual. It's a love letter. It's, it's, it's like a science book, too. You understand? Um, he has given us this love letter so we can understand what and why is this judgment, as well as how we need to judge ourselves, as Hawari of Paulos, Paul states. Now, this valley of Jehoshaphat was a place where all nations were to be gathered for judgment. Now, this is interesting. There's a valley of Jehoshaphat. Some say it might be in Israel. You understand um, the Israel state of Israel today, and that's a, another conversation there. But that's interesting. You understand that would seem where where it should be, but we'll get into that and in more in the next part. So we have to pause for the cause because um, we have to recharge. <laughs> 